this small Salem lab, you might call it weird science. Or depending on your outlook, essential science. We don't do any animal work in our company. At Genoskin, we strongly believe that both ethically and relevancy-wise, we need to work on humans. That's the main motivation for Genoskin, a biotech company started in France in 2011 and recently expanded in Massachusetts to develop a way to test cosmetics and pharmaceuticals on humans, or at least on human skin. It's alive. It maintains the functionalities of normal human skin. There are dozens of companies that use lab-grown skin for testing, but it has its limitations. Lab-generated uh, skin or 3D printed skin, that skin will only have the types of cells that either you put in it, but what you will not be able to do is all of the other cells that are present in there. Genoskin is the real deal, skin donated voluntarily with the informed consent of patients after plastic surgery procedures and kept alive using a gel technology developed by company founder Pascal Descargues. It allows researchers to test the efficacy, absorption and toxicity of topical compounds. So you can just apply a cream on the skin and then check how the cream will change the skin. Descargue says Genoskin's product can also enable companies to study the effects of UV and pollution exposure, as well as immune response. The skin palettes have been used to test possible reactions to creams to help treat skin conditions such as psoriasis, or this one to test injected pharmaceuticals. Genoskin's products have been on the commercial market for several years, used by larger biotech and smaller companies alike. The palette skin can be as close as possible to a real-life patient's makeup. I would like to test on a Caucasian skin type. They can select those parameters. Within just a couple weeks, that's something that we can uh, uh, source and prepare. This is ex vivo, meaning there is no circulation. So a reaction will not produce redness, but Genoskin says it will change the cells that cause redness. It's an innovation this company believes will provide an alternative to animal testing and pave the way for the most accurate human indicators possible. Genoskin is in the process of creating a new system for the samples that will allow them to mimic blood circulation. They say that will enable them to expand testing possibilities. Now, most of the skin they use comes from tummy tucks. Again, the skin is donated voluntarily with the consent of patients after surgical procedures. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. We hope that you and yours are doing well, and we'll see you back here tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle.